today's video, we will go over how to change the charging algorithm. In our I-20 and I-40 models, the chargers are located within the battery compartment. For our I-60 and I-80 models, the chargers are located within the driver seat compartment. For dump trucks, the charger is located under the dump bed. Make sure to have your algorithm cable and USB extension. Next, connect them to your computer or tablet. The ribbon cable connection will plug into the charger. The port is located here, underneath this sticker. Be mindful as this connector only goes in one way. Once connected, we need to open up the algorithm software. We currently have two, Charger Programmer and Newer Charger Program. They're both essentially the same, although they both offer different algorithms. These files shown here are WinRAR files, which means they're compressed. Before we can use these, we need to decompress them. To do that, you'll need the WinRAR software. If you go to Google and you type in WinRAR download, then click go to download. The download links for the software will be right here. It takes about a minute to install. Once installed, you can right click on the files, click extract here, and then you'll have a normal looking folder. We're going to open Charger Programmer and inside the folder you will see an application file with a green logo. Each time you want to open this, you can navigate to it within the folder, or we can right click it and create a shortcut for the desktop for easier access. So once you open the software, the screen will look like this. If you're plugged into your charger, now all you have to do is select which algorithm you would like and click download, and that's it. If you do not get a success, be sure to check the connections and make sure everything's securely connected. A few things to note. You do not need to disconnect anything or have the car on or anything to do this. Just simply connect the algorithm cable to the charger. And also note, you are unable to read from the charger, so you will not be able to determine what algorithm it currently has on it. You may only overwrite it. Hope this helps and thanks for watching.